Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Well, we talked to Elizabeth Warren, senator mm -hmm. from Massachusetts, earlier today. This is what she had to say about the Paul Manafort uh, decision. Senator Warren, I want to start uh, this way. Uh, first off, with the news of the day, Paul Manafort, uh, more years given to him for fraud he committed against the federal government. Also, the uh, folks in New York have also filed charges, the Manhattan DA. Uh, what does it say uh, that the president's campaign chairman uh, is headed to federal prison and potentially state prison uh, for violations against the American people? Oh, it means that the President of the United States must hear the hoofbeats of these indictments bearing down on him. Uh, you know, it just keeps getting closer and closer and closer. And we still, of course, haven't seen the main investigation to come out. But the, right now, uh, it, it just keeps multiplying. One of the things that also uh, jumps out when you talk about the trust, uh, the trust of the American people. Look, some 30 odd people have been caught up uh, in these investigations. Yep. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Trump keeps yelling, no collusion, no collusion, no collusion. Uh, but every time there is a guilty plea, every time there uh, is a sentence, uh, to me, that speaks to the kind of people uh, who he is surrounding himself with. And I don't recall any of these kind of guilty pleas and folks going to prison under President Barack Obama. No, that's exactly right. And, you know, the fact that we've gotten, I think it's, what is it, 34, nearly three dozen either indictments or guilty pleas right now, uh, just in the Mueller investigation, and now more and more investigations opening up, just tells you something about this whole administration and before it was an administration what the campaign was like and before it was a campaign what his business dealings were like and it, this is something that doesn't just spring up on its own like one day one person made a mistake what we know here is that there is a big problem that swirls all the way around you know, it's like one of those giant hurricanes and right at the center is donald trump Again, going back to our panel here, I mean, look, um, Trump can sit here and say no collusion, no collusion, uh, but he is hearing the footsteps, Deshandra, mm -hmm. of Robert Mueller. We also know that Robert, Robert Mueller's uh, his budget goes through September, so all those early reports on CNN saying, oh, it's going to be done in a week, it's going to have his report. All, first of all, I keep telling people, ignore all of those reports. Okay, the Mueller team, they are not leaking anything. No, You'll know when Robert Mueller is done, when he's done. Well, I mean, the news needs something to report on. Listen, everyone's following Mueller. Everyone wants to know when something's going to come out. This is going to be, you know, th this is, could be possibly the next Watergate, if not bigger. But I think the thing we also have to look at is Congress. You know, we have a lot of subpoena-happy Democrats. We have a lot of Democrats who are finally getting their, their turn at being in the majority, you know. What we saw in Benghazi, we're going to see on the House side now. We're going to see a lot of investigations. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. I think that this is going to be a slow leak. I think that we're going to be learning more and more um, each day. I don't think there's just going to be one big data dump and, you know, one big final resolution. Because even with Mueller's investigation, we have, you know, we have the House investigating. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. Robert, uh, again, Trump can yell all he wants to. 30 plus different people who have been charged and convicted, that's an issue. Uh, it, it absolutely is an issue, but I do think the over-reporting of it by the media takes the sting out of it. When uh, any other president of his former campaign manager went to jail for seven years, it will be the biggest story in their entire administration. Well, first of all, he's, it, he's had so many scandals it, 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 that it's also a little hard to say one is a major deal when it's one after another. I mean, look, look, he's had three cabinet members, mm -hmm. okay, who had to bounce out, uh, and you still have uh, you still have all the other drama. Is still, one is still there. Wilbur Ross, who's been lying about his wealth, a uh, line about uh, assets being sold. I mean, other people who have been forced out, trust me, if the old rules applied 
at least 75% of the people serving him will be gone. Mm -hmm. but, but I think the issue is that when you have an oversaturation of information, you end up with a lack of penetration of information. So when people are just simply surrounded by this swarm of, uh, you know, Russia, collusion, Cohen, Gates, Papadopoulos, Manafort, it ends up becoming just white noise in the background. And that's what the issue is with CNN and MSNBC and other well, because networks. He, he, because Trump is that corrupt. I mean, he's got so much, he's got literally so much corruption around him. Uh, it, it's like, look, you can't help but report it, but that also shows the kind of people who he hires and likes being around. But what ends up happening is then when Trump misspells hamburger in a tweet, that's a day long news cycle. If he misspells coffee and says cofefe, that's a day long news well, cycle. First of all, it first becomes of all, static. Well, because also we understand the games that some people are playing uh, where they know that he drives he drives ratings and stuff along those lines. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, a lot of us trying to get healthy in 2019. Some of us trying to get fit, get ready for, of course, uh, upcoming uh, spring and summer when this cold weather decides to go away. And so one of the things that I did, of course, with the uh, is go through the D-Herbs full body cleanse. They have 27 different cleanses that you can actually try, which allow you to remove toxicity from your body, a little processed foods and the fried foods uh, that can also uh, put more pep in your step and give you more energy as well. If you want to try the D-Herbs full body cleanse, go to dherbs.com, dherbs.com, or you can uh, or you can also call 1-866-4-D-Herbs, 1-866-4-D-Herbs. Now, if, when you go to checkout, please use the promo code ROLAND uh, to get a discount. If you want to lose some weight and improve your overall weight, well being, try the D Herbs Full Body Cleanse. Again, dherbs.com or 1 8664 4 D Herbs. And don't forget to use the promo code Roland. And we certainly appreciate D Herbs being uh, a partner here at Roland Martin Unfiltered. Right, I'm back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.